shows do like they do on the Discovery Channel. That's the obvious tune, I don't know popular music. But apparently that doesn't mean with David Attenborough in the corner narrating. <laughs> kind of weirded my girlfriend out. Tom is doing a dance as old as time, the striptease. He's fallen and bruised his testicles. <laughs> he will not survive the winter. It's <laughs> uh, one of my favorite jokes, even though I cannot do a David Attenborough impression. Now I think uh, British people are really weird, and I think that's why we don't have any good horror movies set in Britain. I'm a big horror movie fan, I have a whole one tattoo dedicated to it. No, it's because British people deal with horror in very different ways to American people. In American slasher movies, it's always, ah, run, scared, get murdered, and have premarital sex. <laughs> big no-no. But British people deal with things so much differently, and I'm there, say, better. Could you imagine this as a British thing? Ah, zombies, what do we do? You punch them. <laughs> ah, ghosts, what do you do? You punch them. Ah, things that eat hands, what do you do? You kick them. <laughs> uh, so one of my favourite movies of all time is Stephen King's It. Once again, I have a tattoo about it. And I just think, could you imagine if It, if Pennywise had attacked a university city? How different his transformations would be. I'm walking down the, I'm walking down the street and he's like, da -da 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 -da, and there's a clown there, scary enough. And then he transforms into one of the worst things in the world. A withheld number. <laughs> and, then, and then my dad walks down the street and he turns into a fucking vegan sausage roll. Even scarier. But then, then, then as I think I'm ready to be defeated, he turns into one of the most horrible things I can imagine. Spending three years at uni doing a master's and realising that this is your last chance to win a comedy com competition and no one's laughing enough as you want and you don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> Something I'm sure we can all relate to. <laughs> now, um, I'm going to leave you with a little joke. You ever hear that thing that you are asked as a kid? If you had sex with a copy of yourself, would it be sex, masturbation, or a weird topic for my uncle to ask me? Um, <laughs> the truth is, all it is is a lifetime ban from Madame Tussauds. <laughs>